am in Wareham today. I've left Paul and I'm heading further west. I'm a bit stuck on where to go because there's lots of lovely little villages um, and touristy places that I would love to go see en route but I do need to head to towns that are going to be good for busking so I think I'm going to skip a lot of it and after today I'm going to head to Dorchester and try some busking out there. I'm not going to lie to you, I have been a little bit stressed. Yesterday it got to me, I was just really overly emotional and I don't like vlogging when I'm like that because I don't want to be a moany muck moaner and put that on you but I will tell you about it because it is real life and I'm sharing my van life experience and everything like that so honestly it just gets a little hard doing everything on your own you think I'd be used to it by now <laughs> like what I mean is just like always forward planning always having to think about everything where I'm going to get water where I'm going to drop a toilet off I've got a bin full of rubbish, I need to get fuel, I need to get a uh, diesel for the diesel heater, I need food in the fridge that the fridge doesn't work so I've got to think about what I can get. It just, it's a lot to think about all the time and let alone with that I've also got to think about my finances and busking and you know funds and what I can spend and what I can't spend. And I had a rather bad week of busking. Um, and it does get disheartening when it's like that but I can't complain too much because it is the nature of the job and I am aware that you have your good days and your bad days but when you have like a whole week of bad days back to back and it's the end of the month and you've got to think about everything that's coming up next month it's it's it was a lot <laughs> I'm not gonna lie but it can all turn around at any point and that is the nature of the job so I'm gonna remain hopeful as always Today is a beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day and I'm so glad I got up early to come to this park up. I wanted to be here last night and it was just so jam-packed. It being a Saturday, I'm not surprised. And it was gorgeous weather too, but uh, I did wake up early and came here. And I do plan to stay here for the day. Um, I'll select this little key area um, and there's pubs around and just up the road is the high street so I will do a bit of busking um, it's a Sunday so I will wait till it gets busier I'm hoping it will get busier but it is a lovely day so I can't see why not I'm feeling a lot better today than I did yesterday I think I was just overly exhausted because busking every single day it's knackering it takes its toll on you <laughs> and you know walking for miles with all your gear um, yeah I was probably overly tired and overthinking everything it happens to the best of us I have got a sort of workout plan for next week so maybe I'll share with you how I do that how I find my pack ups <laughs> busking um that sort of thing it might be interesting to some of you I don't know how I've only just spotted a bloody public toilet there get in So I've decided to take a little walk into the village. It's literally just here, <laughs> um, so close. But um, it's really quiet still this morning. Um, it is only early still, like 11, but I'm not 100% sure that busking is gonna be uh, worth it today. Um, but yeah, we'll have a little look around and decide. So, as you can see, very lovely place, but very quiet. <laughs> um, I just don't think the day is going to be the day. There's got all these like three tier plant pots everywhere. <laughs> very posh. Oh. <laughs> You're 
nice. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. I can get a van, cat. Do you want to come and live in a van with me? <laughs> Do you? Do you want to live in a van with me? Yeah. <laughs> you're so white, you'll make everything look dirty. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be so allergic now. <laughs> you don't. I'll be honest, I'm not totally mad that I'm not basking today because I am so knackered and I could really do the day off. And you know what? It's nice to have a day off when it's not peeing down with rain and you can't go out and do anything anyway. So, you know, I'm just going to enjoy this Sunday as a day of rest. <laughs> um, while I'm sat here for a minute, I am going to make a plan, plan my route. Have a little look on maps and pin some potential park up. So I will show you my process for doing that because I feel like it might be helpful for some of you. It was helpful to me when I saw someone else do it this way and I'm going to share. <laughs> so you want to get the Park for Night app first of all. <laughs> it's a really good little app where people have pinned all over the place. Uh, potential park ups, places they stayed and you get, um, for example, let me just click here you'll get uh, pictures, you'll get a rating, um, comments people have said, uh, someone's put one out of five, £20 apart for vans but less for cars, they have the option to pay for four hours, shocking, <laughs> things like this, right? So this is a really good helpful little app if you haven't got this. So I'm thinking of heading to Dorchester, so I'm going to search Dorchester in the app so it brings it up straight away. So already I can see not a ton of park ups in Dorchester, but then again, it is a city, so to be expected. But I need to find somewhere to park for Buskin. So I've got this little one that's pulled up. Dorchester, um, you see a picture there. Uh, dead end road with no parking restrictions. Perfect. Close to Dorchester centre. Perfect. Opposite NT Max. I don't know what that means. Um, someone's rated it. We park for two nights on a quiet road. Great location. 30 minutes walk into the centre of Dorchester. Oh, I don't know if I want to walk that far with my busking gear so we can reevaluate. But I then go and copy and paste the location. Right. Like this. Copy. I then head over to Google Maps and put that in Medufri. There it is. Awesome. Right. So then zoom in. Dead end road, they said. Dead end road. Ah, this is dead. Is this a dead end? So right. Anyway, so hold down. It's pin dropped. Now I've pin dropped it, and you get this little picture. If you can click on that little picture, and it will show you the street view. So you can get a really good idea of what it's going to be like when you turn up, which to me looks pretty awesome not very busy no restrictions i don't see anything but i can head forward and have a closer look see what's going on and actually that looks like it could be pretty good so i'll come out of there and i will where am i say here 
save now I'm just gonna put a little star on that one so that's starred so I can use that later for reference but if I zoom out I can show you what I do green flags everywhere I want to go <laughs> right <laughs> potential pictures for busking I have a little microphone stars again potential park ups not bin um, and then we have the little van symbol for park ups I have been to and have been really good so when you zoom out of my map it looks absolutely crazy and a lot of places I've got to go to <laughs> very optimistic but we're starting to grow the uh, park ups in places which is awesome obviously you don't 100% know what's going to be like until you get there but that gives you a pretty good reference an idea of what you're getting yourself in for now for busking it's a total different ball game for me because I mostly have to park in car parks in the high street things like that half the time there's height restrictions of course but using the pin drop and zooming in I can see if there's a height barrier I can zoom in to the signs for parking ie how long you get um, penalties things like that it's such a good way of forward planning so I'm gonna sit here and use this time wisely and find as many park ups as I can on route and potential places for me to park while busking and even busking pictures because it makes my life a lot easier when I turn up to a town and I know roughly where I'm gonna set up because if you've got a big long high street and pound lands up this end and then you've got like some shops that don't really get that busy you want to be near the busy shops like Poundland, Boots, Super Drug you get it so if you know where they are before you even get there it's gonna make it a lot easier Day. so I'll quickly show you where I am it's a bit boring but it's quiet and seems safe <laughs> so yeah it's like a dead end road like they said super quiet super secluded pretty much I mean there's houses and I don't know what's that side. <laughs> um, I can't see myself getting bothered here, so I'll probably just stay here now until tomorrow and crack on with some editing. <laughs> Get this vlog up. <laughs> um, but yeah, see you tomorrow. Good morning. I've just had to stop for a minute because I can't carry and think and vlog at the same time. So I am off to the bus stop. <laughs> ah, so much anxiety. I hate public transport. It's a fear of just like missing your stop and not knowing where you're going and like, oh, it's too much. But I'm gonna have to be brave this morning because half an hour walk into town is just, it's just a little bit too much with all my busking gear. So I figured I'll do the bus and walk in all this way, carrying everything before even busking. And then after busking, coming back to the van, it's probably half the reason why I'm so knackered all the time. So. Yeah, we're busting it today. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I am in Dorchester High Street. I have been here before, not to bus, um, but it is a very nice town. Uh, it's busy already on a Monday morning, so this is a good sign. I've got some shelter too if it does start to rain outside this closed down shop, so I think it's big as well.
obviously I am back home. I had a really good day busking and honestly after the week that I've just had, I am so thrilled to be starting the week off on a high. Unfortunately though, we are getting rain for majority of the rest of the week. So I am pleased I have had a good day today. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get out tomorrow due to the weather. So I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like and stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Stay groovy. Bye.